last week I spoke with Robin Robinson of the Key West Garden Club. They are hosting their garden tours this weekend. Definitely check them out if you are in the Key West area. Well, this morning I'm going to move up the keys a little bit and talk with the president of the Marathon Garden Club, and that is Rosemary Thomas. She's going to tell us all about their garden and home tours that they are hosting this weekend. Rosemary, it's wonderful having you here. Thank, Thank you, you, Jenna. It's very nice to be here, and we appreciate the time. Uh, Marathon Garden Club has actually been around for 58 years, and this is our 37th house and garden tour. And um, it's this Saturday, actually, from 10 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. You're going to see three fabulous homes and gardens. Uh, very spectacular places. It's going to take a while to go through a couple of them because uh, the first one is a four and a half acre oceanfront estate. Uh, it has a Victorian style home, kind of reminiscent of the Caribbean, uh, lots of antiques, uh, and uh, beautiful, beautiful property. Uh, orchids all over the place. Uh, so your, people are going to enjoy the 8,000 square foot swimming pool. Right. So it's quite a magnificent property and you will get to that property by bus. So you'll go to the Marathon Garden Club, which is mile marker 50, pick up the bus, the bus will take you there and take you back to the Garden Club. And then you can visit the other two homes on your own. The second home is a uh, Bali-inspired uh, place, very, very key, it's beautiful, open to the outside, three-story uh, home. Uh, the gardens, again, are spectacular. The inside of the house, uh, the place is owned by an artist. So it's really quite unique uh, to the Marathon area. And the third home is a relatively new built ranch um, on a canal, very quiet street, uh, beautiful Tuscan uh, decor, a pool on the outside with uh, grounds, a lovely place. So people are going to get to see all versions of the Keys in these three properties. Uh, of course, you can spend some time at the Garden Club where we have an art show going on this year, which is different for us. We have five local artists who will be presenting their work. Their work is for sale. And uh, the art show is actually Friday night, all day Saturday, and Sunday from 11 to 3. So you can see the art show. There's no charge for that. Um, but the house and garden tour really is going to be quite spectacular. Yeah, the homes sound absolutely beautiful. Now, how do you find these homes, Rosemary? Do you seek them out or do the homeowners come to the garden club? We seek them out. Every now and then a homeowner will call us and say they've got something that they'd like to show us. But more than likely, we're uh, cruising around Marathon looking at places. Uh, sometimes it's a friend's home. Sometimes it's a garden club member's home. Uh, in the case of these three homes, it's a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. So uh, a couple are friends of ours. Uh, another one is a couple who have just been very, very good about opening their home to people in the Keys for charity events. And uh, so after seeing it, we said, oh, that's got to go on our tour. It's yeah. quite spectacular. So, Wonderful. Uh, and now you said this is the 37th year that you've been doing this. It is. Wow. So how yes. often do you do it a year? Is it just once a year or do you do it throughout seasons? We do it once a year, mm -hmm. and it's always on the first Saturday of March, okay. so that people can plan. We have people that come from Fort Lauderdale and from Naples and from Miami. They come very often. They'll come and see um, our show on, um, on Saturday, and then Sunday they'll go to the Key West Garden Tour. So uh, they get to spend the whole weekend in the Keys. So it's a very, very nice event. Uh, the tickets are $25. Mm -hmm. uh, you can buy the tickets today and tomorrow at the Garden Club in Marathon, mile marker 50, between 10 and 2, or you can get them the morning of the tour at the Garden Club starting at 10 o'clock. Great. So. And you have to be there at 10 to catch the bus, correct? Yeah, <laughs> the bus will be running all day long, so oh, it'll okay. just make this constant loop from uh, the Garden Club to Bait Shack okay. and um, back again. And uh, we've decided that that's the best way to see this property, uh, primarily because we don't want to back up US-1. Mm -hmm. And that's, I'm sure that's what would happen, because we get uh, anywhere from 700 to 1,000 visitors for this one-day event. Oh, wow. It's pretty spectacular. It sounds like yeah. it is spectacular, and you have, sounds like the most beautiful homes to be able to tour. So, Rosemary, I hope you have much success at this event. And if people are interested in joining the Garden Club in Marathon, can they still do that? They can call the Garden Club, mm -hmm. uh, stop in any day uh, when the gift shop is open between 10 and 2. Our meetings are actually the third Friday of the month at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. The meeting uh, has a light little snack, and then we have a speaker. And uh, we would really love to have new members. It's a wonderful group of people, men and women, actually. So uh, 
It's a good group. Yeah, be a good opportunity. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages with Tom Oosterhout. Stay with me.